Okay, children. Today we are going to learn how to mark our readings. Right? Now, if you take any given chapter in your reading book, whether it's Oxford Reading Circle book 1, 2, 3, 4, whatever reading, whatever the reading book, there is a specific uh, method that we can use to improve our reading. That is to mark the things in uh, advance so that you don't have to think about every little detail while you are reading. Did you understand what I'm saying? When you take a color yes, pencil, oh, yes. I have the three books. Very good, Tinelli. That means you can mark a lot of uh, chapters like this and practice reading. Any reading book you have, you can do this and see how. I have the green one, yellow one, and the blue one. Very good, very good. Now this is the blue book, right? This can be done for any book, right? You just have to mark your reading first and then without any effort, you can just read like a pro. Let's see how to do this. Now, the first thing is punctuation. When you are reading, children, number one important thing is paying attention to punctuation marks. Now, when you are writing, I always tell you to start a sentence with a capital letter. You end it with a punctuation mark. It can be a full stop, exclamation mark, or a question mark, right? And sometimes there are commas also. Right? That's the basic ones that you have learned. Now, those things apply when you are reading also. How? Most of you, when you are reading, I have noticed, you read without taking a breath. Whenever you need to take a breath, you don't take it. Whenever you need to pause, you don't need to pause. You don't pause. And when you should not pause, you take a breath. Now, these things are wrong. So, today we are going to learn how to read the punctuation marks. Okay. Take one color. Now, all the next lessons will be marked with a uh, pencil. But today, we are going to do this a little bit special way. I want you to have, let me see, one color for punctuation, one color for pronunciation. Okay. Take two color pencils or color pens. Do not take the red color, take some other two colors. Okay, if there are mistakes, I can correct them with red. Yes, you like these, huh? Yeah, please take well sharpened color pencils. Huh? Okay, now the color I'm going to use for this, uh, for the punctuation marks, would be red. Okay, this is the color I'm going to use. So let's see. Right. No, all of you take one color to your hand. We will be marking all the punctuations first. Okay. Let me take red. Okay, you also take another color. Now, the first time, the most important punctuation mark you will find is either a full stop, a question mark, or an exclamation mark. You need to definitely stop your sentence when you come to these marks. For example, the old car rattled down the road at great speed. See, your voice goes down and you stop there. And you take a good breath for the next one. Do you understand? Now those places we will mark like this. Now please mark all the full stops like this. Now we know where to drop our voice and uh, stop. Okay, there are only three full stops here. But there is an exclamation mark. This is also a 
stopping point right we will draw like this okay we have marked here now whenever we see this color uh, line that means we have to stop our voice has to go down okay the next punctuation mark would be a question mark do we have any question marks here no no now when when it comes to the question marks usually when you're asking a question your voice slightly goes up what's your name how old are you are you a girl are you a boy see do you remember that one when we are asking a question we have to let our voice go a little bit higher so in case you find in case you find a question mark you will mark it like this an up arrow this will remind us to get our voice a little bit up and then stop okay this is a question mark now the next uh, punctuation mark we have to pay attention to is the comma why do we uh, you uh, in what situations do we use the comma when we are writing when do we use the comma to separate items in a list or to separate two different uh, sentences in a combined sentence okay now how many commas are there in here there are so many commas now when there is a comma this has to be a very short pause it's not a long pause like a full stop exclamation mark or a question mark it's a little pause and your voice will uh, go a little bit up why because your sentence is not finished when your sentence is finished only you will have your voice going down to say that you have finished the sentence so in the commas we will mark up arrow keys sorry that was very ugly an arrow like this written smaller please mark like this this means we have to pause for a little time with our voice up i will read an example please mark all the up arrows also with the same color these are the punctuation um, marks that we are considering okay now let me read an example here it was a lovely day and they were having a fine time see i had a short pause and i put my voice a little bit up because my sentence is not finished when it's finished you will have your voice dropped and then you stop the sentence okay we have marked almost all the punctuations now take the next color let's change your color uh, let me change into blue okay change it to in any color yes yes now from with this color what we are going to focus is how to pronounce certain things what are the mouth positions how should you have your lips how should you pronounce it right now starting point here you can see there is a vowel here and before that there's a word starting with a vowel and before that you have a the so how do you pronounce this the d d d very good if it is a d we put a dot under the uh, word the to make us remember we have to pronounce it a little bit differently put a dot under the so you will pronounce it as d now these are little symbols that we use to remember things okay if you want to use another symbol you may do so but i always use a dot 
it's again the very ugly dog. Let me put the okay. The old car, whenever I see this dot, right, you will put a little bit bigger so you can see it clearly. Okay. The old car rattles down the road. This is pronounced road. So we will draw something like this for us to uh, remember. That we pronounce nicely at great speed. So and his dad were. Now we have come to a word starting with a W. When we pronounce the words with a W, we know that we round our lips. A wa 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 sound. It's a wa sound. Okay, so all the W's will be circled. Shall we do that? When you do 10 15 lessons like this, you automatically start reading nicely even without these marks you will become an expert very soon if you do this method okay let me see other words where i need to ask here day day let's mark with me old so so yes okay please speak to wait sure okay the next thing we have to pay attention to is the v if you have a V there, v, 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 v sound, you will bite your lower lip. Right? Let me find a few V's around uh, this lesson. Can someone help? Uh, here, drive. Please draw a line like this so you remember that you will bite your lip like this. V. Drive. Can't I draw a nice line now here? V. Here, lovely day. Again, v, v, v. you will bite your lip. If you see this underline, that means you bite your lip. V, v, v. That's all that's there. There are only three Vs in this page. Okay. Right. Now we are pretty much done. Now we can go ahead with the reading. Right? Ah, I forgot to tell you something. Now this is your topic. Right? After you say a topic of any story, any lesson, or the in that case, uh, let's say you are reciting a poem. Even poems have topics like this. Right? So after reading any topic or any introduction, you need to leave at least two second pause between the, the, uh, the title and the uh, story or the poem. For example, Somo's car. The old car rattles down. Now did you understand? I left a pause. You do not start the passage as soon as you read the topic like this somos car the old car rattled no that's wrong okay you will always wait so you will draw two lines like this in the middle so you will remember that you have to pause you can take any color you like and and then mark there have to no. underline the no 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 you don't need to underline just uh just draw two lines like this so you will remember two second pause very good 
very good now i'm going to open the second page of this lesson right okay let's start all right now let's take i will take my uh, red color pen now i'm going to mark all the exclamation marks full stops full stops you also start doing that i have uh, shown you how to do this one here exclamation exclamation that means you will pause sorry these ones you have to stop actually commas pause put a little up arrow here let's keep on marking like this every comma you put an arrow every full stop and exclamation mark you write a line like this a dash if it's a question uh, here here we have a question then you will have an up arrow like this a little bit tall see these are questions jack dicky who are they dad see your voice goes up and you have to pause a little bit longer than a comma so i will draw it a little bit taller commas a little bit small ones now we have come to a new punctuation mark this is a colon right this one is a colon if this is a dot and a comma down yeah this is also a place we have to pause colons and semicolons also we will have an uh, up arrow because these are not used when a sentence is ending so obviously they are in the middle excuse me teacher yes i can't see your next page oops sorry you should have told me before this is how i was marking the next page please let me know at the beginning if you can't see okay i'm sorry okay now i have done all my commas and full stops let me check again full stop exclamation mark also dash like this okay right now i'm going to pronounce i'm going to mark the pronunciation with my blue pen let's do it all together suddenly there was w circle please wait okay okay not another one now when you say one also you will have the same position of the lips as w one wow 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 teacher Rock the lips teacher in page number 77 o what was that 
we will go back to that we will just uh, do this one let me see which uh, one i have missed later here's another w cried so with her knitting quietly the last time i had a puncture said dad as he got out of the car now here whenever you uh, say the words like as is just write a z here you pronounce these uh, s's like z like still ugly okay i can't get any better than that seems okay he got out of the car it happened in town the a garage was wa 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 close by so close so then we had the wheel wa 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 change in no time i shall show you show how it is is z done you can really put the semicolon you can write z here for words uh here this there was a words here again z what do what do we put for the semicolon semicolon also little arrow key up draw a little up arrow dad a large round man ah uh, here's a comma rolled out of the car went wa 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 now to the back and opened the boot we keep wa 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 again the jack in the dicky said dad jack dicky who are they dad again who who are they dad laughed and said we wa 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 lift a car of the car with again with and the dicky is this that's not a dicky said so i learned in school that it is called the boot it is sounds like a bird okay we didn't find a single v no here okay now we have mark this page also right now let's go to the first page and see what uh, we missed is there an o here ah uh, this one no no this one you need, don't need to mark anyways when you pronounce o it's like i was actually referring to the word starting with o having a sound like one ones right then you need to circle okay now let's read these two pages i'm going to just read a sample and show you i will read sentence by sentence you all repeat louder okay let's start Somu's car. Somu's car. The old car rattled down the road at great speed. The old car rattled down the road at great speed. Somu and his dad were out for a drive. So and he said, "Out for a drive." It was a lovely day, 
and they were having a fine time. It was a lovely day. Lovely day. Blah, blah, blah. It was a lovely day. It was a lovely day. And they were having a fine time. Oh, and Grandma was in the back, but she was so old and so quiet and so small that so when Dad had often forgot she was there. Oh, and Grandma was in the back, but she was so old and so quiet. And so small that so and dad often forgot she was there. She was there. There. Okay. Excuse me, teacher. Yes. In that page, but she was so. So you haven't. Sorry, but he was. So old, but she was so old. Yeah, but she was so old and so quiet and so small that so when dad often forgot she was there. Okay, you need to have short pauses. Let's go to the next page, Kuta. This one. Read after me, please. Suddenly there was a loud bang. Suddenly there was a loud bang. Not another one. Not, Not another, another one. one. Side dad. Side dad. Remember, this is direct speech. And here, now you do not have a long, long pause here. Now, for example, not another one. Side dad. This is not going to be a very long pause, even though I uh, wrote a long dash. Puncture! Puncture! cried Somu. Puncture! Puncture! cried Somu. Grandma got on with her knitting quietly. Grandma, Grandma got on with her knitting Knitting quietly. Quietly. No, quietly. no, that wasn't uh, good. Grandma got on with her knitting quietly. Grandma got on with her knitting quietly. Now you didn't pause here. Listen to what I'm saying. Take a good breath. This is where you breathe. This is where you exhale. From here to here, you keep on exhaling. This is the breath. This is the inhale. You take a good breath and slowly breathe. You do not start breathing here again. Okay? I hope you understood. Let's start again. Now listen. Grandma got on with her knitting quietly. Grandma got on with her knitting quietly. quietly. The last time I had a puncture, said Dad, as he got out of the car, it happened in town. So many commas. The last time I had a puncture, said Dad, as he got out of the car, it happened in town. Please read faster. Do not drag it too slowly. A garage was close by, so we had the wheel changed in no time. A garage was close by, so we had the wheel changed in no time. Changed. Here, I have forgotten this one, this book. Changed. Sorry. I shall show you how it is done. I shall show you how it is done. Dad, a large round man, rolled out of the car, went round to the back and opened the boot. Dad, a large round man, rolled out of the car, went round to the back and opened the boot. 
We keep the jack in the dicky, said Dad. We keep the jack in the dicky, said Dad. Yeah, I forgot this one. Jack, Dicky, who are they, Dad? Asked Somo. Jack, Dicky, who are they, Dad? Asked Somo. Dad laughed and said, We use a jack to lift a car off the ground with. Dad laughed and said, this is not said, but it is said, said. And the dicky is the sorry. And the dicky is this compartment here. And the dicky is the compartment here. Here. And the dicky is this compartment here. And the dicky is this compartment here. That's not a dicky, said so. That's not a dicky. That's not a dicky, said so. I learnt in school that it is called the boat. I learned in school that it is called the boat. Dicky sounds like a bird. Dicky sounds like a bird. Sounds like here you have S here. Please do not ignore little things like this. Of course, we sometimes make mistakes in reading, but we will be very careful not to do so many. Okay? Right. Dicky sounds like a bird. Dicky sounds like a bird. Well done, children. Very good. Now, uh, let's take the two color pencils and mark alone. Now, please mark all the other pages alone. I will also do that from here. Yeah, you can't see the next page. Okay. Yeah, this is called a hyphen. This particular mark. This is called a dash or a hyphen there also we will keep a little pause right we will always uh, respect the punctuation marks while we are reading if you find a word starting with a vowel quickly see if there's a the in front Okay, or everything has to be accounted for while we are reading. Reading is uh, a difficult thing for many children because we do not know the techniques of reading. Now, if you practice these kinds of things, of course, you can practice reading in no time. Ah, here we have the other. We will mark this one in another color. Okay, just remember that. We have to actually read the lesson while marking. This is a question mark. I will have a long up arrow there. Here dot dot dot. Uh, there are short pauses. A question, a pero. Okay. 
Check the screen and check if you have uh, done everything or just point out if I have missed anything. Now I'm going to take my other color and mark my pronunciation. This one we can do together. Let's do. And it sounds like a shoe. And boot sounds like a shoe. Tell dad laughing at his joke. Sticky or boot, that's where we keep the jack. There are two W's. Wah, wah, wah. Whenever you see this round, you have to make a round with your lips. Make a circle with your lips. Wah, wah, wah. Watched again. W as your Z sound. I hope everyone is doing their work. At one end, uh, here we have the word one. So we will circle one also because we will say one like wah, wah, wah. Here was again. Circle. On the wheel, again, circle. Watched W. Yeah. Wheel. Yeah, we. The other. Here I have a dot under my the. And one. Here. Very good. Again, W. Other we don't circle. Only one. Again, we have the one. This is not the one. Huh? What? It's not a vowel sound. One, not the one, it's the one. You forgot the one. Pute, you don't say the one. Wa is not a vowel sound. The other, here, only the other. That, of course, yes. Don't be confused, only vowel sounds. Again, W, whole, is one, has, z, a whole, the other one. Now, there's another one here. Put a dot under. My dot is ugly. You put a nice one. One, just pay a wheel. Again, in this page also, we didn't find a V sound, did we? No, right? Okay. Okay, that page also done. I think I have helped you enough. Let's go to the next two pages and finish the whole book. You have to use a separate color for the circling, okay? It's the same. I can see the next page. Please do the next page. I hope you understood this one. So now we are going to stop and just do it. We continue it. Okay.